Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Shortcuts Live. I am here today with a special guest, Stephen Robles of the Apple Insider Podcast. Hello. Oh, wait. Didn't bring it a mem right. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Hello, Stephen. How's it going? Hi, it's going great. Thanks for having me. It's been uh, you've been on the Apple Insider Podcast two or three times now, and yeah. so it's fun to talk about shortcuts with you. Now get to automate some stuff. Glad to have you on. I feel like I've been, especially since I I used to do podcasts, and then I stopped right when I like finished all of my good shortcuts, and so now I just have these sitting around. And when I'm occasionally on a, a guest on a show like yours, I also like to link to it on my blog in like a fancy little post. So. I've got yeah, some shortcuts yeah. for that. And then, but you also were telling me before the show, you've got almost all of your stuff already automated, which is perfect. So we're going to talk about your setup <laughs> a lot as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. Everything from show notes to sharing the podcast, you know, formatting for an article. And I got some cool ones for movie posters in the iTunes store as well. But it would be so much time spent if I did not have shortcuts. You know what I mean? Just totally. those kind of. And I used Text Expander previously to automate some of that stuff, but shortcuts is just so much more flexible and choosing, you know, co-hosts and sponsors and all kind of stuff. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. I enjoy it. Totally. Nice. Um, so I guess I'm just curious about your history with podcasting and things like that too. Mm -hmm. And then um kind of like what are your main shortcuts that, that you use for the show? For sure. I mean, I started podcasting probably 11 or 12 years ago, just solo in my attic. I did a, a daily tech show. I think I've said it the name before, but I used to call it the tech tailor, finding yes. technology that fits you. That's perfect. <laughs> so, I like it. That was my tagline. And so I did that for solo for a while and then got to start the Apple Insider podcast in 2015. So started that and left for a few years and then was able to come back almost three years ago now. So I've been doing that for the last three years and started a movie podcast. I've been doing that for four and a half years. Also, that's a smaller show, but you know, it's fun. And we have some Patreon supporters. Nice. So those, and also HomeKit Insider, where we talk about home automation stuff that's oh, yeah. on the Apple Insider network as well. So those um, are the three big ones. What's the name of your podcast? I don't think you said the movie one. I don't think you said it. It's movies on the side. Nice. Movies on the side. Yeah. And Can't it started because... Mine. <laughs> yeah, we would shoot the breeze for, you know, 20 minutes before ever talking about a movie. And so we called it movies on the side. And then we realized if we call ourselves a movie podcast and people are coming to hear about movies, you should probably talk about the movie like right away. And so <laughs> so we changed it around and then we made bonus episodes of all the pre-show talk that we would discuss just about things about life. And that's what our Patreon supporters get is that kind of bonus content we talk about bread in a can and whether mayonnaise belongs on hot dogs and all that kind of stuff. So nice. that's fun. Fair. Does it? <laughs> I think <laughs> not. My co-host <laughs> does. And I think that's I uh, an think abomination. I've tried it, so I'm probably more on that side. <laughs> I'm, I'm a ketchup and mustard guy, you know, kind oh, of yeah. totally. classic, but yeah, yeah, I think mayonnaise is reprehensible on a hot dog, but <laughs> You know, he, he'll say we put garlic aioli on steak or whatever. That's and it's fair. basically the same thing. It's mayonnaise on meat. But I, I don't agree. I, I, I disagree. That, that like thing that it's like, do you want some mayonnaise? It's like, no. It's like, do you want some aioli? And you're like, oh, yeah. It's like it's yeah. literally the same thing. <laughs> Give it a fancy name. Put a little more garlic in it. Bon totally. appetit. That's it. Nice. And uh, so, yeah. So what, what do we want to do? want to show some shortcuts? Yeah, let's or... do it. Um, okay. Let's... Do you have it on your phone? Is that what it is? I do have it on my phone and uh, let me try and be fancy here and do my, my top down shot. Perfect. And so let I'll me, show this, this one. I'm still the most you in real yeah. quick. And then, oh gosh, Ecamm, where'd you go? My, my <laughs> tool your, just entirely phone. disappeared. Okay. Hold on. We're going to get there. So you're running okay, that beta. Just do that we're for now <laughs> and I'll figure it out while you're, <laughs> you're telling me about this. So this one, this one is one of my, my favorite ones. I do this for the movie podcast and we post what movie we're going to do before we release the episode. So tell people, if you want to watch the movie we're doing this week, check us out on Instagram. And so this shortcut right here, um, if I go into it, basically it'll ask for a, sure, a search term. So I'll search for the movie title. And then this was before all like the magic variable stuff came out. So I was really setting uh, each yeah. variable. Uh, but basically it it's will pull up. Though. Yeah, it, it'll pull up results from the iTunes store, the movies. And then if it has the movie we're doing, it will pull the artwork URL, get the image from the iTunes store. So I have the, the image, the movie poster, and then it will overlay that 
on a pre-made social media frame that I have. I have this one saved in Dropbox. Nice. I typically try to do it from iCloud of uh, shortcuts folder now, but I made this a while ago. And so it'll get that social media image, overlay it and show me a quick look and then save it. And so if I run this shortcut, this is going to be a challenge. I got to type this upside down. So if I search dictate. for, yeah. <laughs> oh, I probably should have. If I do like glad, where's D upside down? There we go. Gladiator. Tell me if I have a typo because I really cannot see. <laughs> gladiator. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So if I type in gladiator, so it searches the iTunes store, it'll pull up the results of all the movies that come up in the iTunes store. If I choose gladiator, that's the movie we're doing. And it will pull the artwork, overlay it, and... Sometimes it takes a minute. Let's see. Go short. Let's go. There it is. Yay. Nice. And so, yeah, so this is the frame uh, that is saved in Dropbox. It's just a PNG file. And then it overlaid the movie poster on it. And then I can just share that on Instagram right away. And, you know, the most time consuming part is actually finding exactly how to position the movie poster artwork. And that's where, you know, that overlay command is where you really got to get into like the XY coordinates and all that, mm -hmm. which is this uh this one right yeah. here and you know you got to really get you got to nail down like you know with height coordinate all that kind of stuff did you do that you like out? in photoshop beforehand or uh no that probably would have been smarter i basically just like <laughs> fooled around with these numbers <laughs> until enough. it looked right in the shortcut because it once you run it a couple of times like it was pretty fast and so yeah but that's how i created it and then if i go over to my my instagram so you can see this is the instagram page for that podcast and all these images that have the movie poster and the social media frame this was all from that shortcut and it posted them all that's awesome so what you yeah. wouldn't have wanted to photoshop every one of those by hand for your exactly. hobby podcast like that's, <laughs> Listen, the problem. The, that's the beauty of automation you can do things that normally would have been very time consuming and then all of these images where it says movie review that is another shortcut that i have where the uh the mots I have, a, I have it in one of my other folders. Again, this is one of my my uh, points of pain that I told you before we started recording is like all the shortcuts are in my these favorites folders because I want them in my today view. And so I can never find them. But anyway, nice. I use the shortcuts uh, basically to overlay that other frame on the image. And so that's another shortcut. And then I use Zapier that auto shares. So I actually use this image which is the episode artwork basically. And in my podcast, so I use Buzzsprout for this show, I use that as the custom episode artwork. Mm -hmm. And then I use zapier.com, which is free for up to three zaps or automations. And Zapier pulls that custom artwork automatically, takes the episode description that I've written for Buzzsprout and will automatically post it to my Instagram account when the episode goes live. I never even have to touch Instagram. Nice. And so it has that movie review custom artwork. It has the caption already, which is the episode description. And you can add in Zapier a little like listen now at mots.fm. And my, it shares automatically. I never even have to think about it. Perfect. Um, here, yeah. let me bring myself back in and set yeah. that up. Okay. Just, and then let me do this real quick just to switch this back to you so we can do we can get that properly next time i should have done that okay. beforehand um <laughs> um so that's perfect though i mean like the, especially combined with zapier i think that's the like the side of shortcuts that is missing for some people is that mm -hmm. you you want to do that work but then it should just like go out on its own and shortcuts can't really like schedule things that way you could do some like fancy yeah. automations that every hour check for something and do it but then even on I guess you said it was from Instagram. Like you can't check Instagram or something like that. Which that would be amazing if Apple worked that API where it can auto post for you. Cause that's the thing. Like you can do a tweet and do a post from a shortcut, but you still have to hit publish. You know, you still have to make, it's a manual process to send that tweet or post that thing on Instagram. It'd be amazing if there was like a cloud side of shortcuts where I can do that so, same automation that I do in Zapier but do it in shortcuts. I would be more familiar with it, have more control. But I don't know. That doesn't feel like something Apple's going to do. I feel like that would be too, I don't it know, could, too webby. It like <laughs> could be a server. I mean, I don't, honestly, I get a little out of my realm of expertise talking about like webhooks and things like that. Um, sure. Because ultimately Same. all that servers are, are doing that kind of thing. It's like just set up 
3,600 automations and check every minute or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> um, no, I mean, there's yeah. got to be, I feel like at some, or I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe just like hooking it and sending it to Zapier or that kind of thing could be a solution at least. Um, yeah, even if it was set up, you know, a shortcuts on the Mac still doesn't have automations. And I feel like that could be a prime place, like build your scheduled automations, like posting social media in the Mac shortcuts app. And then, you know, maybe there's an iCloud side of it where you go to iCloud.com and see your some of your shortcuts. But I don't know, it doesn't feel, I feel like Apple, like iCloud.com and whatever's on there is like bottom of the list. Like we're, not, we're not putting anything on there. I think they're... But, they're still working on getting the app to even work right. <laughs> so I feel like Fair. those advanced features, I mean, we should file feedback and then maybe in two years or three years, we might get it. But I mean, that, that is how it. it works. So I know you're supposed to file feedback, but I, I have a, I don't know. My process is I complain about it on a podcast and then I complain. And, that it's <laughs> that's a, and I know that's a terrible strategy, but then that's you're like, why uh, doesn't this get fixed? It's weird. Uh, how come they don't know about this problem? I've I been complaining on podcasts. <laughs> um, yeah, really, faithfully okay. to every episode. <laughs> that if you listen in overcast, you could clip the timestamp and then put that into a feedback for real <laughs> though. Like, yeah, yeah, I, actually, should, I like have a, podcast quote shortcut that i do for that um not for feedback just, specifically but should i just send the link with no commentary yeah just, <laughs> just listen to this it's like listen here this um, is my feedback i mean i think we're like half joking but also like you could actually make i i was just looking at there's a shortcut that uses a uh, scriptable that somebody made that just uses javascript to look at your podcast RSS feed and get the actual like audio files. And so you mm. could go then into the file and like get, I don't, I think clipping that exact moment you might not be able to do, but you could get so close. Like if Ferrite added shortcuts actions and like, Oh man. I would love, that. I would <laughs> love I, if Ferrite ever had shortcuts actions, that'd be amazing. I mean, I, I contact the developer a lot cause I, I, wear ferrite out because uh, that's where i edit all my podcasts in and canis totally. is the name of the developer he's a one-man show making a uh, ferrite and so he does incredible work you know at, at uh yeah so he does great does a so um, what, do you have shortcuts for ferrite no none yeah i feel like none, i mean it's just I, like open ferrite um <laughs> yeah <laughs> or like open it and then the files app or something like that in slide over would be my main yeah I, yeah, I basically like, now use universal control to like take the raw audio files I've recorded on my Mac, slide it over into Ferrite and it drops there. And nice. then that's awesome. That's it. Um, that which, you know, Ferrite has great template support and that's what I use. I have templates for all my shows and like, that would be cool if there was a shortcut for, you know, pull the latest files from this folder, create a new template, put this file in this track, this file in this track. I mean, that would save a few steps. That'd be pretty yeah, cool. Totally. Yeah. I feel like that'd be interesting, especially if you did like a daily podcast. That's where some of those automations would make all the difference because you just hate doing <laughs> the, all the little details yes. otherwise. Yes. So you're talking about the Apple Insider shortcuts? Yeah. You want to do that? Okay. Sure. So step one of Apple Insider shortcuts is finding news for the show. And so I use Reader which is an RSS reader app. And I feel like RSS is coming back. I feel like news reading via RSS, since like the Verge redesign and everything, I think uh, people like RSS again. But anyway, nice. so I'm I have, down. yeah. <laughs> What's ahead? I'm down for it. Yeah, exactly. So I peruse different sites for, in RSS, in Reader, the app. And then I have a shortcut where if I hit the share button, I have a AI note link and HI note link. So Apple Insider and HomeKit Insider. And so if I want to add this to the Apple Insider podcast, I'll tap the AI note link. And basically all it does is get the raw URL and it should present me with a list of my latest notes. And it did not. So <laughs> I, think, try again. I think, let me try. Okay, let me try again. It, it does sometimes get a little wonky. Let me try one more time. I, I was going to say the share sheet too. You might need to close the share sheet and reopen it before it'll work. I wonder too. I've not run this shortcut on this phone yet because it's the uh, iPhone 14 Pro, and I don't know if I've actually done it yet. So let me go to the Apple Insider folder in Shortcuts, and let me see. 
AI note link. I mean, this is, so it this is, is the, um, this is the shortcut itself. And so basically receive URLs from the share sheet. If not get clipboard, I expand it. I expand the URL and I try to clean up the URL as much as I can. Yeah, and then I find fair. all the notes in the folder AI podcast in my notes app and then open notes. I guess should there uh, should be a choose from list, isn't there? Shouldn't there be? Probably. It looks like I don't well, because that's it looks like you were copying it to your clipboard and then pasting it in. That is what I was doing. Um, Did it get overwritten by an older version, maybe? Oh, uh, maybe. Let's see. Let's try it again. Now that I've opened the shortcut, let's see what this does. So AI, is that it? Yeah. yeah. You're amazing at doing that upside down, by the way. <laughs> uh, I've been, I've been you, doing it more and more the last few weeks. Um, there, I think there also is a bug with the notes action specifically. So you might just be getting... <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Okay, well, in that case, I'll show you what a note looks like sure. uh, because it's not; uh, it doesn't seem to be doing it. But so if I if I go to the last note, um, so this is this is what the note looks like uh, for an Apple Insider episode. So we do five star review shout outs, and then all these links is the ones I've pulled from a reader, the RSS reader. Mm -hmm. And so this is the note I refer to when I'm recording. And so we go down. I put everything in the list of the show, the topics that I want to cover. Then once we're done recording, what I'll do is take the text here. Um, I don't do select all because I don't trust it. I, I, <laughs> I select Fair. the text and then copy it. And then the next shortcut is what I use to make the HTML for uh, the article. And I call it the AI link master. And so when I run this, it takes my clipboard, gets all the URLs, formats them in HTML. And that's not, it's going to ask me a bunch, always oh, allow. Of course. <laughs> always allow. I've run this uh, recently. I don't know why it's asked me all of this. It, it'll do it for me halfway through a shortcut that it's already oh, been allowed to do. So now this is asking me how many sponsors were in this episode. And so I'm going to put, uh, we had two sponsors and it will then run this repeat action. And this is what were the sponsors for this episode? And so I can choose the first one, let's say it was Beard Club, and then I'll choose the second sponsor. We'll say it was Truebill. And so it will add that HTML. This is just showing me that the links got formatted in HTML. I can probably take that quick look out. I don't really need it. It asks me who the co-host was, and this will determine what links to what social media profiles are there. So let's say it was William this time. And then it will jump me over to Bear, because this is where I actually write the article and everything. And so I'll, uh, let's see if I can, again, do this upside down. And so now I'll paste the finished product. And here's the HTML that the shortcut produced. And so it has like the headers, contact our hosts. It has the co-host URL, again, because I chose William. It has the sponsors the right there yeah, wow. on HTML. It has the, I should probably turn off my notifications. Um, and then links from the show. These were all the links from the Apple Note, but formatted in HTML. So it has a full just, list there. Um, look for the title and then yep. the link after it. That's exactly right. And nice. so it gets it gets the title. And every Apple Insider article has like the line break Apple Insider. And so I have the shortcut remove it. So it's just the plain title. Um, oh, you know, I try see. to get it as, as short as possible. The one I wish there was a better option, and maybe you know, whenever I link to a tweet like whenever it gets the name of that web page, it's a bunch of numbers. Like it doesn't mm -hmm. tell me it's, what it is. Yeah, we should, let's look at it. Um, I definitely have a shortcut yeah. to, if you pass information to the Twitter embed tool, it'll, oh. it'll give you a dictionary back that you can get that has like the title and oh, it, okay. but the preview. Yeah, I mean like the title of a tweet is like, Matthew Casanelli on Twitter said, quote, and then the whole tweet. So it's kind of not ideal. Right. Um, but, yeah. but I might format it with just like tweet from username. Yeah, like that would have totally. been, a, that would be, a, that would be better than this. Cause now I have to like click on the link to see what exactly this tweet was <laughs> that, I, that I linked to. I run into this, this is like a fundamental problem that I run into all the time. Cause I use Twitter so much and then right. like actually making those <laughs> links usable is like a, right. so we should totally, I also do want to, I want to see this shortcut by the way, because 
I'm curious. This shortcut that I made, right? This one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this is also, we were talking about this before we streamed, but this is the iframe embed code for an Apple podcast episode. And I have to replace this once I get the episode ID from the Apple podcast creators dashboard, because you won't get the ID until you create the episode in Apple podcast. So I replaced this iframe source after the fact. Um, and then all this, I basically, I have another shortcut that does HTML to rich text for the podcast host. And so I can paste that into my podcast host and rich text. And yeah, that saves me a ton of time for show notes. That <laughs> so exactly like that's huge. That's exactly the same thing that I did. Um, does it get yeah. artwork? Um, this does not because I don't really change the episode artwork. I do chapter art. That's fair. So I don't have this do that, but well, it's more. So the, this is the, the blog full post at the end. Um, oh no, because that's a different formatted image that has to be made like sixteen by nine and all that. Yeah. Uh, instead uh, can, of like the square, you can do that with shortcuts. You could, <laughs> but it needs it needs a little more design than than the straight artwork so the shortcut it can receive text or get clipboard you know so i can use it from the share sheet but i typically do the clipboard i replace a bunch of stuff um like line breaks and all that and re replace blanks you know spaces and all that um and then depending on what kind of url it is i do have again that's why i would i would add a twitter one if i could but if it's a youtube link you know i'll get the full youtube link get the name of the youtube video format it so it's the youtube video name right there does the and then web page name it has the video name in it it does i don't know yeah. why i didn't think of that i've been doing a whole yeah. like excessive scraping <laughs> i have so well i have found that you have to do the get contents of web page first and then get name yeah that makes sense because if you do just get name from a youtube url it doesn't work yeah that's so, kind of an annoying thing with shortcuts is like half the time it'll it'll automatically detect it but sometimes right. it'll just be like no i don't know what to do here and, and it's also weird because there's like get details of article and get details of web page and yeah. i have found one of them works with youtube one of them doesn't i forget which it is <laughs> right looks now like web page does work because i mean right. a youtube video isn't an article like that's right using them using the like um almost like the open graph it's not open graph but like that kind of right. tag markup from google to like to identify authors and things like that um right i wish youtube did it because it would work well with this but it'd be nice yeah and then if we have any amazon links uh there's an affiliate for apple insider and so if it's an amazon link those are a pain in the neck to format but you know i did enough to to do it you really have to split a lot of text to get like the raw and then mm. i because i get amazon links sometimes from uk products because some home kit devices are not available in the states so there's like a uk amazon link so I have to split it by either DP or GP, depending on the country yeah. that the link was from. And so I do all that to format it. So that's all just for the Amazon link. And then everything else gets uh, done by this. And again, this is where I split that uh, Apple Insider title off the title. So it's just cleaner in the show notes, replace you know some text here to clean up the titles. And that's it, combine the repeat results. So those are the links, those are the combined link results. And then I have that sponsors is actually a different shortcut. And so I have a run AI sponsors. This way I can add sponsors to that menu and not mess with this shortcut. Because mm -hmm. I don't like this that works. Suck. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this works. It's solid. I'd never want to touch it again. So I have my sponsors there and can uh, pull them from in, in that. And then my co host, this is the menu. And then I have different uh, text formatted here, depending on which co host I choose. If it's a solo show, like I did an event recap or the HomeKit Insider podcast, and then opens up uh, opens up the bare note. Nice. That's that was awesome. Code. You cool. you are killing it with that. <laughs> well, I mean, and that was one of the most time-consuming parts post-editing. And once you've edited a podcast, like, you don't want to do anything else. Like, I don't. It's so, yeah. like, I we record, and I edit immediately after, and then have to get it ready to publish right after that. And it's a very time constrained process. And so anything that saves time, like that's what I'm going to invest in making a long shortcut where I don't have to think about it. It's solid. And, you know, there were times in some of the betas where that shortcut wasn't working. And that yeah. is 
You're tough. like <laughs> that's a tough spot to be in. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm laughing because uh, that's the pain that oh, I, I feel you so know. deeply. Yeah. Oh. oh man, oh, especially man. like the part where only the sponsor part probably didn't work because it was the run shortcut thing that was broken, and so like you get all the way through and then just half of it's broken and you don't remember where or something. Well, sometimes the, the part that breaks for me is getting the URLs like for the name and stuff. Sometimes it stops getting that info, like the get yeah. Safari, whatever. So I don't know what that is. Like, that's weird, but yeah, it when it doesn't work, it's depend on the page. I mean, like yeah. that might be where like, if it's an article or, or like, yeah, it really does probably depend on the page. If you and can I like definitely... notice when that happens and collect those yeah. links, then maybe we could like diagnose it a little bit. Um, it definitely happens with HomeKit Insider links because a lot of times I'll link to some like European manufacturer website and I'll notice the shortcut is broken. If I just not use that link, you know, I, I don't copy that one in my, my notes mm -hmm. thing, it runs fine. And so it's like typically something about a, an individual yeah. web page. I think and... that was the other thing I noticed was like if you – if some for some reason one of those splits doesn't work then it might just like lose track of what's happening at that point and right. so i i this is totally something i've said for myself and i just i don't want to insult you but it's like I, it's kind of like the poor man's reg regular expression is what i call it, where you were oh, splitting yes. just at the url utm thing and that but that's perfect because mm -hmm. like you can do it. I could, I don't know regular expressions either. I just learned like, or every single thing I learned, I've just like Googled basically. Um, I, so that's exactly, exactly, I do that exact yeah. thing all the time. So it's like to get the YouTube ID, there's seven backslashes before that point. And so I just <laughs> split at the slash and then get the yeah, exactly. item at eight. And then it's always there. So, exactly. which is like, I think this is one of the things that I always love about shortcuts is I'm like, that's all that programming is. And people think yeah. there's some sort of fancier thing, but it's just like identifying a pattern that you can get in the URL. And then it's like, oh, that's where the ID goes. Like replace yeah. that text or something like that. Um, that's it. Let me show you one other one too. Sure. Uh, this one's this one's pretty cool. So for HomeKit Insider, we published that on YouTube. And of course, YouTube is not going to support HTML or whatever. And so uh, Andrew O'Hare, my co-host, will publish that on sure. the channel. And so what I do is I've copied the HTML URL links from the finished note, basically that I would have gotten from the last shortcut. And then I run this shortcut called <laughs> HKI links for Andrew. <laughs> and when I run this shortcut, it will basically open Slack. And let me go back to, because I send it to him, but let me... Um, paste it in this bear note. And basically what it does is it takes all the links and the titles that I had already set for the article and just puts the title like that with the link underneath real clean. And so this can be pasted into a YouTube video description, description. Yeah, nice. and it's, you know, real clean for it. And I was doing it manually first and I was like, why am I doing yeah, this manually? That terrible, I, so. Yeah, I'm not, not doing that. And so this way it's it's real quick, real clean. And I can just say, here, here's all the links ready for YouTube and good to go. Can we see that shortcut? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that shortcut. I want to guess. I'm going to, I'm going to, do you convert it? Oh no, you actually scrape it. Okay. Yeah. I was yeah. going to so say I, like a fancy way because it was already HTML. What you could do is just convert it to rich text yeah and then, and then use markdown to get the links or like something like that um but this is but also i mean it's the same thing the reason the reason why i do that this though is because sometimes i'll massage the titles for the links uh -huh. in my bear note because some of the titles are super long like if it's an amazon item you know that title will be like three days long and so i'll manually change those titles in my bear note and i don't want to have to do that again so that's why i specifically scrape the html directly uh, because it already has that. So, you know, I repeat, you know, I get the clipboard, I get, you know, repeat with each item, I get the URLs, and I split all the text manually with the HTML, and then format it with the, the title, and then the URLs combine the results and print. It's not, you know, super complicated, uh, but it's quick and it works. Yeah, that's great. That's like, I think yeah. I have almost the same kind of shortcut because I have a uh... It's like on my website, I want them rich links, but on YouTube, I want them. I like the little, I would do, I could never decide if I wanted it title and then like colon space and then the link 
or the link right. below. I think the link below thing actually looks better though. Yeah, YouTube I've done it both ways. It, um... Right, and the the truncating, I, I like putting it below. I like doing the title, new line, link, and then space, and then whatever the next link is. Nice. So that that's how I format it. Yeah, I, I could have discussions all day about the very particular way you format it, or something like that, because <laughs> that's totally like it makes the experience different by the end um <laughs> yeah well and also seeing like you know so many videos i've watched as i was preparing this studio which we could talk about automations here sure. uh, in a moment but i you know looking at all the equipment stuff i would look at a dslr video shooter that youtube channel uh caleb pike and he's mm -hmm. great he's got so many setup videos and he'll have a youtube video description with just a hundred links and i seeing how those are formatted when you have lots of links I preferred that with the title and link yeah. underneath. And I said, I'm just going to format it like that. Even if it's just a few links, I still prefer it. I think it's a cleaner look, easier to like grok uh, at a glance. Yeah, uh, it totally. Someone's... I think that I just hadn't thought of that. And so now I'm like, I'm probably going to steal that because I always have like, <laughs> if I linked all my shortcuts or whatever, it's like iCloud.com and then it gets cut off and it just doesn't, I don't know. So like, right. I'll have to yes. That. Yeah, oh, exactly. Nice. Miss Craig. Oh, shoot. Hey Craig, maybe he uh, he's still he's still he tuning there in for a while, but yeah, <laughs> he's 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 over in the UK, so he's he's watching us before he goes to bed. We're <laughs> nice. We're, we're the evening entertainment <laughs> over there. So uh, yeah, so this the studio uh, we recently built a house here in Florida, and this is the result of the studio. And I really wanted to try and make it as easy as possible to make podcast and video content, uh, like at a whim. Totally. And so I did as much HomeKit stuff as I could. And like my light, which is an Aperture Amaran 200X, is on smart plugs. Nice. My like key and fill lights are all on uh, HomeKit smart plugs. And then all the colored lights behind me are also, uh, they're like hue and different stuff. Craig said, and, he sure is, <laughs> sure is still watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, nice. I, I, I thought so. <laughs> he's he's going to be watching. So I have a ton of HomeKit scenes so these are all the devices just, uh, let me do my, I'll do my overhead shot. It'll probably sure. look better. Um, so these are all the devices here in the studio specifically. So I have my ceiling fan and ceiling fan light, which whenever I'm recording, I turn the ceiling fan off because you just hear that constant whirring. Mm -hmm. And so you have the key light, hair light, fill light, all plugs, the E flare, which is behind me, the sign lamp, which I'll show you in a second is also behind me. I have some Eve shades. And so I have blackout shades that will open and close depending on the scene. Does my Eve camera have now? Did I miss that? They're from motion blinds. So they, it's like motion blinds powered by Eve. Huh. And huh. Yes. Yes. Uh, they're very good. And they do the blackout. And that's what I needed in this studio. Uh, I have my camera plugged into a smart plug as well because I always wanted my camera charging when I'm filming. Never had to think about battery but I don't want it charging 24 seven. I don't want it to kill the battery. And so I have my camera charger also on a smart plug. Huh. This way it turns on when I'm filming. It usually ends up charging all the way by the time I'm done and then is not charging all the other times. And then I have my Hue Bloom gradient tube. That's the colored lights behind me. I have a big HomePod. This one, my AirPods Max is also on a HomeKit plug because I got the Max stand for the AirPods Max, and it charges them. But uh, let me get the stand real quick so you can see sure. it. All right, wait. I'll <laughs> because... keep it just on you so we can see the other. So the AirPods Max, you know, the thing about them, they don't sleep very well. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the case that it came with. I wanted them easily accessible on my desk, but the battery is always draining because they, they always see some of my Apple devices around. They try to connect, and it just drains constantly. And so what I wanted them is I wanted them always charged, but readily accessible. And so I got this. This is the Max stand nice. and it, it charges with USB-C. And then there's like this magnetic port right here, magnetic port wow. in the Max stand. And all you do is put the little dongle in the AirPods Max. So this little dongle right oh, here, which is that in. You just keep that in all the time. And then whenever I place the headphones here on the charging thing, they can be charging. Wow. But again, I don't want to charge in 24 seven. I'm, I'm kind of like particular about my battery health. <laughs> so, so what I've done is I've plugged the max stand into a home kit, smart plug, and I have an automation that turns on that plug at like 
5 a.m. every day, turns it off two hours later. And so every morning, my AirPods Max are charged to 100% and I can use them throughout the day wow. and then they'll charge again the next morning. It's a simple automation, but I never have to worry about charging them. They're always at 100% and I don't have to worry about them staying on the charger 24-7 either. So it was a huge win. Nice. Huge win. I am going to... Link in the show notes. We'll, we'll automate it and get it up in the video afterwards. <laughs> Very good. Yes, yes. And so, yeah, so all this HomeKit stuff. So I'll show you the uh, the visual might not become uh, very pleasing, Hello. but I'll show you what it looks like when I change my studio over. And so I have, these are some of my uh, HomeKit scenes. And so I have this done recording scene. And what done recording does, we'll turn off all my smart lights. We'll turn on the ceiling fan ceiling light and will open my shades. So I'm gonna hit my done recording scene and you'll see all my smart lights turn off, including the E-flare, my ceiling fan and ceiling fan light turned on and my shades are opening right now. You can't see the shade, but you can yeah, see the light on the side yeah. of my face. Nice. And you might hear it whirring in the background. That's a solid hair light if you needed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, when I do some device stuff on my desk, I'll open the window because it yeah. actually provides some nice light. And so when I'm done recording, all my smart stuff is off. My camera's not charging, natural light, shades open. And then if I want to go back and record something, I have my different colors already set. So if I want to do video orange, video green, nice. <laughs> I can just tap video orange. And so this is my video orange scene. My camera started charging again. And my E-flare turned orange. I have a hue gradient um, like strip here. Like that's a hue light there. My blinds are closing now. And so you'll see the side light the getting dimmer. Light, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the cheek lights are lessening. And then my hue sign floor lamp is actually behind me. And so you don't typically see it because my body is blocking it. But that's the lamp right there. And that's actually what's shining the light on the back wall. And so and when I'm in my filming position, you don't see it, uh, nice. but that's that's where the color's coming from. Nice. That's cool. Is that just a light bar type thing? It's just, yeah, it's just a tall ah. sign. It's the S-I-G-N-E, sign, hue, floor lamp. They make a table lamp version and a floor lamp. And so that's the floor lamp. It's just a very thin tube gradient. So it can change colors throughout the tube, but I typically just do a solid color and then you know, I could change the color whenever I want. I'll do video green, and now my background's green. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. These are slick. I'm impressed. And then, <laughs> thank you. And then my Stream Deck pedal, I have video purple on one pedal, and then I'm done recording on the other pedal. And so I can trigger those HomeKit scenes via a shortcut, and the shortcut is ran through the Stream Deck pedal. And so that's how I got all that set up. Nice. That's cool. Um, The... Does the pedal, does it do, is it like only during certain times or? The pedal, I have it configured um, just ongoing. And so the left the left pedal is my video, video purple. So if I click my Stream Deck left, it changed my background to purple. <laughs> so nice. if I wasn't That's in recording a... mode, it would do all the, the smart stuff uh, for that. And then the right uh, pedal is the done recording. And so it'll do what it, what it did before all the smart lights turn off and stuff. Nice. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, sorry, we're getting somebody's, I think bringing fake life viewers into the, yeah, the stream. I think um, so. I mean, no, is that thanks, bad? Man. We don't, we don't, I mean like it's, no, but I don't want, I want people who are yeah. actually watching, not random computers. Yeah. Um, don't spam, don't spam yeah. us. No, no thanks. we no, don't need you. fake viewers. <laughs> Did you see that article last week about uh, podcast networks buying downloads? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't. We're not. We're not trying to do that. Not. Not part of that. Um, no. 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 Nice. That is yeah. sick. I mean, that's the that's the whole podcasting deal. It sounds like, sounds like you just turn on and record, and then you're done <laughs> half the time. I mean, I mean, you probably got the. I'm not trying to dig I the will. work that you actually do because you do all the post production too. The, yeah, in the post production, you know, you can't automate that. But listen, I mean, not yet. I, I've I've really set it up. I, I, this is not to be arrogant, but I, I needed to do it where I can make lots of content very quickly and easily, uh, and it was the only way it was going to be sustainable. Totally. And 
I mean, I will like be getting ready in my bathroom at the other side of the house and I'll tell Siri video purple. And by the time I get to my office, like it's ready to film. Yeah. I just take the lens cap off and hit record. And I mean, you you can't beat that. It's, it's, it's worth it. So totally. And I I love all the, I mean, all the HTML stuff and all that too. I would never, that's the exact kind of thing. I like, I want to have the proper stuff, but I don't want to, hand code it because it's not necessary like at right. a certain point you're still designing all of that and so setting it up and getting it exactly what you need is perfect because that's like that's exactly why i wanted you to have have you on i didn't i didn't know you had already pretty much gotten it all done so that's even <laughs> perfect because that's just like i don't see how he i just wouldn't want to do a podcast without having this stuff because it's just like yeah that's the well, part even, that isn't the show. The show is the show. And so making that right. more interesting is where and you then, want to put your effort, not in the HTML. Absolutely. And then, you know, the one, like the final step in the podcasting process is sharing it. And so for sharing a podcast, I, again, I have shortcuts for that as well. And like, this is my sharing the Apple Insider podcast shortcut. Very simple, but it gets... The latest episodes of the podcast gets the latest one, gets the URL directly to that episode, and then formats a little text where it has the Apple Podcasts link to the episode. And then for Spotify, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I can pull a Spotify episode link in the shortcut. Definitely not natively through Spotify. Um, I think... Some finagle something. I thought Castro or Overcast did something fancy to get no, I guess that uh, was, I was, I'm thinking of the Castro ID itself. Okay. So yeah, I just put the link to the show in Spotify there. We, I mean, vast, vast majority of our listeners are, are an Apple podcast anyway, copies that text to the clipboard and it creates a new tweet. And so I can just type in my little comment for what the show is about, paste these links and I've shared the latest episode in a matter of seconds and yeah, it makes a big, big difference. So yeah, that's huge. Yeah. Um, it's fun that that same method is basically how i've gotten so i think the fun the one little thing that i wanted to share was um they have these new apple podcast creator tools um yes here let me close out all the home kit things that i was looking up when you were mentioning them yeah yeah craig uh, had a question too oh uh, yeah see. totally i was gonna actually i have a shortcut for that or i think oh there you go yeah can you can can you clarify craig so it says any suggestions for grabbing a full podcast description articles using shortcuts? It only grabs part of the article. But does that mean like the show notes or well, the links here's the from thing. the show notes? The thing is Apple Podcasts does not, it has a maximum character count and the Apple Insider podcast notes routinely, basically always go over that. Um. And so if you're using the shortcuts steps for Apple Podcasts to like pull the latest description, Apple Podcast doesn't even show it. Like it cuts off our show notes before you get to the end. Mm-hmm. So like like this is uh, the notes for the Apple Insider show in Apple Podcasts. And like there's more down here uh-huh. that you'll see if you're in Overcast or Pocket Cast, but Apple Podcast cuts it off. So I imagine that might be what Craig is running into. Yeah. Oh, but he's saying from he's saying from RSS. Oh, maybe. So um, okay, let's try it. Let's do some. Let's do some live shortcuts building. Let's build it. So this was one of the things that, in general, the podcast promotion tool that they have now, in general, they have um, just like the thing that you have for embedding your posts, which is in here, I believe, or maybe, hold on, my overlays are in the way. Um, (laughs) But through this, basically, I just realized when I was like, I went in to do, I think it was even for your show, I was just like Apple Insider. And then just yeah. up here in the URL, it just uses the ID for the show. And so mm. in shortcuts, you can just go in, here, I'll just create a new one. All those folders, Matthew, that is oh, that's so next level. You have no idea. <laughs> um, oh man. I just um, made, I just, okay, I'm just gonna say it just cause we're on my stream, but I just mm-hmm. made, hundreds of shortcuts just to open my other shortcuts <laughs> but <laughs> but don't before you laugh at me too much wait what now, is that number 
Is that 3,856? Oh, yeah. I'm at 4,000 shortcuts now. Um, I made Whoa. 300 just for this. But look at this. Look at this. <laughs> uh, you see shortcuts there? I've got my stream deck. Is this going to work? It better work while I'm demoing it. Something <laughs> happened. Um, wow. Okay, hold on. Let me pull it up. I can... Oh, those shortcuts are now programmed on my stream deck. Why is it changing? Um, stream deck is freaking out, but I can switch to all my different folders just from the stream deck right away. So this uh, is amazing for me. I, something's breaking, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that Ventura. Ventura's breaking, that's what it is. Um, oh man. Okay, so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Apple Insider. How do you color code your stuff? um i have a whole system okay. it's like purple is podcast because the app, podcast app is purple pretty straightforward um okay i have it's it's really like based on that like youtube stuff is red blogging is orange because i use ulysses and that's orange so like mm -hmm. i just kind of picked something and then i go through and then it's like if i have multiple of that i start like another color set basically so like I gotcha. get into calendars as red and then I have like work shortcuts, personal shortcuts then are like a repeat of the different colors again. So I gotcha. just have a lot. I just have too many, but that's not what this one's about because <laughs> it'll take 24 hours to get through it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can just get even just by getting the one show. Come on. Get it. Oh, it's yeah. lagging on me. <laughs> You can just get the store ID straight out. Oh yeah, by the way, copy and paste works on the Mac now, in case you were having issues with that, because it just- Oh, it's shortcut before. steps? Yeah. Oh, it just didn't nice. work for like the first year. <laughs> right. Oh, so, okay. So now, it can't do the full, like, you can't create the entire piece of artwork from the URL. I wish you could. That would be sick. I don't think they'd probably think that anyone would do that. Oh, you know right. what? I just, we didn't test it. It's it's getting, why is the store ID? That's in, that's wrong. Lies. <laughs> is there, it has is there a string? An Oh, you know is what? The episode? I might have multiple. The store ID is the show, though. Isn't there an episode ID? Yeah. This is just, this embed is the first one. Why is there, I said get one episode, and it gave me three results. There oh, you no, go. But it, that was part of your, weird. Why does that, let's see if I can just get the first one. <laughs> That's weird. <clears throat> Oh, all of our fake viewers left. <laughs> <laughs> they had a little boost for a few minutes. <laughs> okay, let's see if that works. I probably should have tested it. I don't know why your one show is... I mean, maybe because there's multiple Apple Insider things. Shortcuts maybe. also likes to misbehave. Okay, so that one did work. Okay, so um, it loaded. Yeah. yeah, and then they just basically have this whole thing where you can be like oh i like get bonus episodes and yeah, yeah, yeah. format these sizes and then just share yeah. it on social media right away which is pretty awesome yeah yeah it's great you can customize the color and everything match your brand um and then the oh yeah then the show thing once you get down to this level you just do the same thing with the episode link just do get episodes guess this would the one, one thing that's weird with shortcuts is it gets um oh, we got an, uh, hello <laughs> kites um with shortcuts it gets hold on i just totally distracted myself by saying something to somebody oh yeah it gets the last it gets the <laughs> podcast episodes in the wrong order and i don't know why it gets yeah. the latest 10 starting from okay that's why it's still okay Oh, that's shortcuts is not saving my one. That's what was happening before. Yeah, it's on that. You're on that beta, man. That's the that's what that beta do. It's also the non-beta version also does it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just been broken. Fair enough. It's a Fair enough. shortcuts 
I honestly, I thought this to myself earlier today. Shortcuts for Mac should have been a beta this whole year. And then if it shipped mm-hmm. right now in the full version, then yeah, that would make sense to me. Hot take. Yeah. <laughs> and it, and it used to, you've not heard any from any little birdies about automations, right? I mean, is that even yeah, like shortcuts it? for Mac got no love this year, almost at all either. I don't right. know. I have no idea what's going on there. That is, it got I'm, zero time during the keynote in yeah. WWDC. Well, it didn't yeah. even get half the features. There's no app right. shortcuts. Um, I don't really understand. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. understand why this is. This should only return one item. <laughs> I don't and know. It's giving man. me three. <laughs> that's that's how it do. That's how it do, man. I guess I'll do the first item from the list. That item yeah. from the list thing is a good what you were doing with splitting all the URLs. That's something that took me a long yeah. time to like figure out. That's why I do that all the time now, because I don't trust I don't trust shortcuts to know like what I want. I was yeah. like, just just get this thing. Like don't I mean it's I think just like learning that index like some of this all it's like it makes sense if you're a programmer but like just the number four is index four like sometimes trying to i need to like write articles explaining those things and i feel so like dumb it feels obvious but when you try to put it into words you're like i can't explain it properly if i if you write an article just explaining like the most used regular expressions I would visit that web page twice a week. Yeah. Just do that. Just fair. do that. I just found out how to isolate just one text between two strings and stuff like that. That's for HTML. Yeah. That's why I tweeted that last week, being like, oh, yeah. I'm so stoked. Um, <laughs> anyway, write that, write, write that regular expression article. I'm telling you, million sure. hits. Sure. It's true. Matter of weeks. Okay. Now we got the store ID. We're finally back to the same spot. I'm going to try and enlarge this ecam window in Chrome. Oh, Hopefully yeah. I could make mine. I got it. I see it now. as well. Sorry. I just realized I don't have. Command plus. If your uh, viewers don't know, command plus zooms in in Safari or Chrome. Command minus zooms out. Command zero oh, goes thing. back to the default percentage. Let me, here, this might help. Is Pull it just, just so shortcuts. Don't dox yourself. Don't, yeah, don't that's kind of your... the problem is. <laughs> it's gonna do that. It just did it a second ago. I was doing a live stream unboxing my 14 Pro and showed my iCloud address during the stream. Fair, you know, as you do, as you do. I thankfully just moved, and so that's how we got away ah. from my address being in multiple that's streams good. in the past. Oh, ah, very good. Uh, yeah, just move. That's yeah, the answer. Exactly. That's the solution. Move. You're still in California, though, right? Yeah. Or if you know, um, I'm in Al- Alameda, which is an island in the Bay Area, which nobody oh. knows about. It's like a t- right off the Oakland. I've not, so I've not heard of that. You might call it a dynamic island. All right, it's time. It, we're we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're done here. <laughs> mm. That was a part of the stream feel... where I'm getting too warm and getting goofy. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, my ceiling fans off. Um, how uh, how do you feel about the dynamic island? Since you mentioned it, it's pretty good. I like. I mean, it's great for shortcuts. Um, it like yeah, I like seeing them running. The, yeah. Well, the home screen thing isn't horrible anymore. Is mostly what it is. But it's kind of dumb that you have to buy an iPhone 14 Pro to get good home shortcuts on the home screen. Um, I don't think anyone's yeah. actually going to do that just for the aesthetic home screen but um yeah wait what do you what do you mean short they just because it runs there now instead of popping down a notification oh right it means that that thing of opening your app icons is just way more bearable than than otherwise Um, i never i never got into the custom app icons it felt like that's too much I'm I'm like considering going back to part of it though because it's better now. Um, Does it show like badges and stuff? No, that's the main thing. So it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, but it doesn't open shortcuts anymore. First, it just goes right to the app. No, they changed that at least yeah. like six months afterwards. Um, yeah, but still nobody really knew. And then now it's like with a dynamic island, it still doesn't at least cover what you're doing. Right. So I also made this one to just mm. you can just pick any episode. There you go. Nice. Yeah. And get, I think, like, a big thing, I wish you could get 
So that this is another thing I need to learn with shortcuts is how to get a JavaScript thing to press this button and <laughs> then generate the thing for me. Like I would love to, yeah, because I would love to get that link in a shortcut instead of yeah. the long episode URL. That's the main, I mean, that's, I don't know how they could do that unless they made their own generator um, itself. Because like, no tool can go find the short link for a URL. Yeah. Um, Apple could just add that as a shortcut step. Yeah. Get I mean, short URL I of agree. your podcast. <laughs> now charting. Mm-hmm. Huh, I didn't notice these. We hit, we hit top they, 20. Yeah. If they hit, I was, I was totally in the description of this YouTube video. I was like, how do I, I knew you hit something recently and I was going to try to reference like a top charting Apple podcast, <laughs> but I was trying to look for like the reference or something. Yeah. 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 We hit, we hit number 20, the charts, they change so quickly. So you got, you got to well, look yeah. at like, if you're not doing like, NPR strategy of paying for, well, uh. <laughs> but the Apple charts, they've, they've gotten smart because Apple charts is also based on listener engagement. So basically how long your listeners stay listening to an episode factors into your charting position. Nice. So that makes sense. just buying downloads that play for like three seconds, uh, it fair. does not count as much. Yeah. I don't think they were doing that. I mean, I don't know if they were, they were actually buying. That's not that thing, but just like no. yeah, they yeah, do yeah, the yeah. thing where as soon as they drop out of the charts, they pay for Facebook ads to get them back right. in the charts, which then keeps them in the charts. It's like, that's at least, but that one, Yeah, I mean, but that <laughs> at least feels slightly more legitimate because totally. it's it's people that see it and actually click on it actively agree it's just a rich get richer problem of like you just can't <laughs> afford that unless you're npr so like right we need a robin hood of podcasting that's what we need someone <laughs> who gets the small shows no just kidding <laughs> just boost them yeah gotta get automations to just download the shortcuts we're gonna skip this guy who well, <laughs> gave us well. all these fake listeners <laughs> I do. I do have some shows where I produce um, like audiograms for shows, oh, nice. and I do have a shortcut where basically it just has a menu with a bunch of RSS URLs, and I basically just tap the show that I want, and it downloads the latest MP3 file from that RSS feed, so that I can drag it into Descript and do an audiogram. Nice. And so that's a you know you can automate downloading it at least you know manually. Um, I guess you could just create a shortcut that repeats every minute that's it would not be worth it <laughs> <laughs> not be worth it but uh but yeah so that's that's a convenient that's one. cool though i mean i like the audio yeah. i thought okay we got to convince the descript people to make shortcuts for it because that especially with the mac app oh that would be very good um i would love that although i also know their mac app is really just a web view like it's not like a legit that's fair app but it would be amazing like to to do that in, in shortcuts um because those audiograms the the descript app like will crash periodically and stuff so yeah anyway hmm. shortcuts uh, i just want to shortcuts everything i just shortcuts at all yeah i mean i think we're i can see why they won now i mean especially the web view thing is probably the main issue i'm curious if yeah. there's like a solution for that of like they should totally have a make your web view plus give it native Mac features with Swift UI or something like that. Right. Um, I will say we haven't mentioned it yet, but you had pointed out to me, what is it? Toolbox pro mm -hmm. for shortcuts actions. And you know, the one action that I've used and it was worth the price of admission, whatever their premium is, is that remove duplicates from yeah. a list or remove <laughs> duplicates. And I've used that in multiple shortcuts and it is amazing. I just want to know why I can't do it on the Mac. Do you know, yeah. is that not um, possible? He doesn't have party? a Mac app yet. Um, right. Toolbox Pro 2 is under development. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if where he's at with it, but um, okay. potentially I can maybe send him your way. <laughs> I would there like is a version know. of it that exists. Um, and it is, that is convenient. That is like, would, there's like some little things like that where my whole shortcuts library could rely on that one action working. And I was like, I need this on the Mac, please. Um, yeah, I think you can technically do it with regular expressions and that's got to be on that page for you. You got to write that article. Write that article man. I'll make a shortcut to open the page <laughs> just for you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, literally, because I've, because Googling regular expression is difficult like there's yeah. so many like forum articles and like and well, you have to really get your phrase you're like 
how to replace between two strings of text. And thankfully, there are at least Stack Overflow stack overflow results for like a lot of that stuff right. um, you gotta be specific, like paragraph break line break like you have to be very specific in how you ask it and so yeah if it was just an article somewhere i could point people to um antonio in the shortcuts user group is my expert and i use him a lot and so i'm going to try to have him on a stream i feel like the big thing that i want to do with is make a shortcut that's just called remove duplicates and then I just don't need it ever again. I just run the shortcut and then that's it. And like really extracting those functions into just pure shortcuts and then just being able to like call those. I I, I will pay for that shortcut to whatever, whatever tip jar you're going to put in front of that shortcut. Uh, I would Matthew love Cassinelli. to add it. Com slash membership. No. I'm already a member. I'm a I member. Know, I'm just kidding. I'm I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I would tip extra for that. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would tip extra for that one because that, that duplicate thing, I want to run it on my Mac, but yeah, I would love to have that native functionality. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'll, I'll look into that one too. Cool. Very is cool. there is there anything you can't do with shortcuts that you would with your podcast i mean the the duplicates thing is a big one um let me see let me see there are let me tell you something i have this one shortcut that i so i get a bunch i have a bunch of links i start with the links it's basically like the apple insider one but i want to get the titles i need to format it into rich text but i also want to get the summary or whatever like the shorter snippet is of the article yeah, i think it's called excerpt. the summary yeah the excerpt but when i try to convert it from html back to rich text because i need to get it into my podcast host in rich text it adds like weird characters like, uh, like not the, and and the a or whatever you know, like apostrophe yeah. thing it replaces the apostrophe with those characters. And I'll even do a replace text command in the shortcut for that specific weird character thing, but it doesn't always work. And mm -hmm. sometimes I'll still get like a capital A with a weird symbol on it. And I don't know what that is, but yeah, I don't know if you have any wisdom on those. That's, I almost got that's a, my biggest pain point. I almost, that sounds like a thing that I would run into and look on the subreddit and somebody's, <laughs> made a specific shortcut just to fix HTML encoding errors. Cause that sounds okay. like it was what it is. Um, but that is a good, does it, um, it probably gets like embedded in the HTML. Yeah. I'm just trying to imagine when that would happen. If you have a link to that where it happens regularly, that would help. Cause then I can just like test it. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll try. Like, I'll yeah. I think maybe you would have to get in a little bit of, regex of like yes look for this string even if there's not space before it or something like that i think that's probably right. where it ends up freaking out that's um, that's the issue because it's like in between a word if it's an apostrophe s yes, it'll just replace the apostrophe and then the find and replace can't find it yeah so um, are you in the discord i don't think you are actually i i, I think i no i'm in, I'm in the discord okay. i i gotta be honest man I, discord is a mess I don't really like I'm still trying to figure it out. The thing, the really thing like that's it. just great is that there's like a group of people in here that just help yeah. with stuff like this. And so like if you're like sure. running into this, it's like they'll like figure it out for me and you, which is great. That's awesome. Well, and the other issue I have with Discord is I actually have uh, some work that I do that it requires me to be logged into a certain Discord. And as far as I can tell, there's no like management of accounts in Discord where you can be like signed yeah, into multiple. Yeah, it's one account for everything. Um, which precludes me from using the discord account for all my personal stuff where i'm in yours and oh, i'm in a couple of like podcast ones and so i basically just gave up on discord i even looked for like third-party hooks to like bring discord into slack or something but i couldn't yeah, find any that's fair so, i mean i get that um yeah oh the one though we talked maybe it was before we started streaming was a getting a twitter link a, a link oh, to yeah. a tweet and trying to format that for the show notes that's the one link that i have not nailed down and anything but just a random string of numbers for the title uh, when I want to use a link in that short, a tweet in that shortcut link, like that would be helpful. That's the one. Um, still so I have this, let me see. A new Amex says they love you, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if you know them personally. But... I do not. <laughs> um, I have a grab Twitter dictionary where I've just did that whole thing 
that I mentioned to you. Here, let me go to the desktop. Um, mm -hmm, there it is. I don't. I don't know if seeing your shortcuts library is inspiring or terrifying. And, yeah, I'm. I don't know how to deal with that in general. Like, I just don't want to show it to you because. I mean, it's amazing. It's incredible. That's that many. I just. I don't know. I don't. That's. Well, it's like it's besides the point. I think that's where I really just don't want to emphasize the volume because that's. I'm. <laughs> I'm the gallery. Like at this point, so. Yes. Yeah, that is that is true. I mean, um, you, I mean, you that's the goal. I, I used to do that. So that was my job before. Um, true, true. So this shortcut gets the URL and passes it to this publish oembed link. And okay. then that basically in the URL, in the contents, here, let's just see. Get this out. Just grab. Oh, I never hit tweet on that. That makes sense. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. I was wondering why it didn't go up as soon as I hit tweet. Well, let's just do it. Uh no, I feel like it's yeah. too late. We're gonna end it soon. It's too late. Just tweet the link out later or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, that uh, I literally opened that and hit enter. Um that's funny. Okay. I think you had to do command enter, right? To actually Probably. send it. Yeah. So okay. it actually oh, gives you whoa. this whole like Huh. Uh, dictionary, which is great. Let me see if does JSON. I don't remember if this works on the Mac. Um, I use this app JSON to preview hmm. dictionaries because it'll show you all of the titles and things like that. And then you can go in, provide a URL, twitter.com slash blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. So I basically, they give you this dictionary. And I, some right. of this is like unnecessary information. So I basically sure. just like made my own dictionary out of that same stuff that's then easier to work with. So if you run this, you can basically use this as a subroutine in your shortcut and then just be like, I need the handle and the URL back out of it or something like that. Um, okay. I mean, you could probably, you could basically just look at this, that dictionary and make your own version too. Um, sure. But so like, Let's just say, let's just make this. I've been trying to get better about doing proper do shortcut, you do input, this with shortcut input. Yeah. I do now. Yeah. I have okay, a bunch of old ones that I just didn't touch. Totally. Yeah. See, I've gone through every single shortcut that I have and redone all these <laughs> things. And that's all that stuff takes so long, man. I'm changing uh, yeah, how I, I write know. my descriptions, and that's going to take me like two weeks um wait descriptions of the shortcuts yeah oh uh, you know what this i don't does run hey run shortcut works um <laughs> just because it has thousands of tweets to look through wow um so then i guess out of this is just the dictionary and then you can just do just like or you said it was the handle right yeah oh handle Oh, the dictionary data is on my clipboard. I said clipboard to my barber, and he was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> but he totally got it once I said copy and paste. He had heard of uh, background removal in shortcuts, or in not in shortcuts, but in iOS 16. And I was like, 16. that's sweet. Maybe you saw my TikTok. That's what it was. <laughs> Are you on TikTok? Uh, barely. I made one out of a video, but it's not really a TikTok. Um you should you should show off some yeah. of your shortcuts and TikToks and see what happens. Totally. I mean, especially it's like I think the big thing with YouTube is it's like kind of not worth it to make a whole video about one shortcut. Like that's right. never gonna get a hundred thousand views or whatever. But a one you do short TikTok or yeah or short um yeah totally post in both places yeah post shorts and TikTok. So my first said, my very first TikTok was a shortcut showing how to change your wallpaper every day. And I hooked into like the Unsplash API URL and thing got 750,000 views. Yeah, that's awesome. So totally. Take the, uh, shortcuts that change the appearance of your phone are definitely popular. Yeah, like, you know, exactly. TikTok. Like if it's good for that kind of audience, it'll definitely TikTok. do well. Yeah. Um, TikTok that are like productivity related, like you're never going to get yeah, any kind of track. That's fair. There. But if you do it well, if you like make it yeah. like that, taking the background removal instead of doing like 
the thumbnail thing um it's like doing style they'll still take it and, and that one so, you made where you're like logging your outfit of the day like yeah. that would be huge on tiktok totally. which that, well, that was from yeah it was yeah that wasn't mine that was from tiktok um <laughs> right that was millions of views though yeah that was sure. well. um so what did you say you wanted tweet from then the handle okay just like that yeah and then like the url below yeah we could do that i would probably format it in html but yeah okay well do you know that you can do markdown you can just make markdown and then convert it to html and you don't have to yes like, okay. yes that's fair but you probably want to add in different tags and stuff like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but, but if they, i mean if this works right here i could i could figure it out from here that's pretty great yeah i'll give you i think this dictionary one should be on my website um i don't think i okay. explained it super well so I, I don't expect anybody to like have gone in and been started using my json my custom json dictionary um <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I get, I get what it is and how I could use it. So yeah, because it just like makes that instead of you having to go in and look at the body of that JSON string that they gave you, you can just kind of use this uh, more simply. And that's yeah. like, but that, oh, that's great. That's perfect. Yeah. Now I just have to risk adding these steps to my master link shortcut without breaking it. Yeah, but this could <laughs> you could run this shortcut. At, because it's a subroutine uh, right. with this this should just do it and then you can also do another thing i don't that's still like fairly new is the stop and output where inst if it's run as a subroutine it'll pass it out to the next shortcut but if it's if you just run it manually then it'll just copy it to your clipboard and you can paste it gotcha. somewhere else um, so that's pretty nice so i don't if i'm putting the run shortcut command in my master link shortcut I don't have to like copy to clipboard and then paste from clipboard in the big shortcut. No, it'll yeah. just it'll as long as you use uh right here, I've taken this URL and pass it as input and then just yeah. whatever comes out, the shortcut result. But this okay. this stop and output is a little is a way to kind of do both at the same time. Kind of the way they did the shortcut input is like okay. that. It's like because you you probably it sounds like you use it the way I do, where sometimes you just run the shortcut and you just want that url back out and then right. you don't want to have to like copy it or something like that every time right. um, so yeah gotcha. that's, that's what stop and output is for it's even okay. um i still barely even do this but on the mac if you right click and do a service on something um yeah or even from here you can literally take the text and put the text back down using stop and output too and that's right. like I just don't even think of that because it still seems like I shouldn't be able to do that. Um, right, right. So that's totally like, I don't know, like you could do that in the, if you just paste the URL link into the CMS of uh, Apple Insider and then right click it and get your whole shortcut done right away or something. <laughs> right, right. That's amazing. Yeah. I'll send you well, this Twitter one though so you can uh, yeah set it up and add it into your thing. Please do. That'd be great. I feel like this is probably a good spot to stop though. Sure, sure. That was fun. Yeah, totally. Thanks for sharing. I I'm I feel like you should share even though your thing is like esoteric or whatever, like I think you should still share it just cuz people like to see that kind of thing, especially the very particular like here's how I do the entire blog post because like my goal, at least with doing this and trying to get, I want to get a set of shortcuts for any podcaster to have. And like, here's sure. how to do your own blog post. Here's how to have guests on and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I need to do it. A good example. Now that I just think about it is I need a shortcut to get your links so I can put them in my posts and help promote you. Cause that's the thing that's always like a bummer is if right. they don't properly promote you, it's kind of like, what was the point in going on it at a certain point or something like that? Sure, yeah. sure. Well, I, where, where should I share it in the Discord? Uh, well, you have a blog, a blog, don't you? You should totally like. Oh yeah, I could do pu that. Publish that as a blog post, and then I'll uh, okay. link to it in okay. my newsletter. Well, then I will do that. Very good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're you're a pro podcaster, so people definitely need to get advice from people like you because it is like a lot of this stuff is super hard to set up and if it's already sure. kind of half done and you can get off of that, like people aren't going to think to clean their links the way that you did or something like that. Right, so right. You are okay. like a shortcuts pro I'll say. 
Um, oh, I think great. a lot of people like I'm. I'm in this like <laughs> realm of absurdity. Um, well, I mean, you're like of... Zeus on the mountain. You know, I'm just <laughs> trying. I'm just trying to be at the mountain. You know, I'm just trying to <laughs> trying to at least see up it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know yeah. how how to respond to that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lightning bolts down at people yeah um, yeah i mean you're throwing shortcuts like lightning bolts man i'm just trying to <laughs> trying to catch what i can but still i still think like the only thing i did was just do what you do and do it 45 different areas of life and just keep going so i feel like you're yeah. you've got the reasonable thing where you actually get the work done and then stop and then you just get the benefit of automating it not just automating every other thing endlessly right. <laughs> but that's but that's your that's your uh, like purpose i mean you're helping so, everyone automate everything and so and it is you know when you're just getting into shortcuts it is sometimes hard to abstract the concept to your own thing mm -hmm. like you can you can see oh yeah he got all those links and made you know a post for a podcast but I'm in this other realm, like maybe I'm an accountant and I'm trying to put together whatever. Like, and so I think you, what you do and doing it in every area is helpful for people to help totally. them get started, get in the road, in the door. So, Cause that's, yeah. that's kind of the, it's, it is like part of it is learning where you can use it. And then like just understanding how to repeat through something and get data out is this whole other oh. middle realm of it and stuff like that. So I think that's well, why I, I like your example. Once I started understanding repeat and like that just changes everything. And, you know, that's so much of what programming is, is like any repetitive task, you can just have this little step called repeat, do it for you. And it's like, totally. it's amazing. So yeah. anyway, nice. Well, thanks for sharing. And um, I'm glad yeah, to man. have you on. Let's, let's do this again sometime. We can always yeah. want to build shortcuts or I don't know, set anything. I'm we'll figure it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's do it. Cool. I would love to do it. Thanks for having me on, man. Nice. Um, where can people follow you? On Twitter, I'm at tweeting all the time at Stephen Robles. Uh, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash bearded teacher, doing some videos on there. And uh, the Apple Insider podcast is where I talk all about tech stuff in the audio form. So all nice. those places. Cool. I think I linked to all those in the description. Um, I don't, I don't, maybe I forgot I the YouTube, but I'll get it. I didn't there. even look. Oh, I appreciate <laughs> it. All right. Cool. Well, all right, Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see everybody on the next stream. All right. Bye, folks. See ya.